Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're gonna learn how to change your graphics. So your game looks so, so, so much better. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. Now, here we go. So this is how the game looks like right now. And in a couple of seconds, I'll show you how it looks like with the settings on. Now, my friend, look at this. Now, as you can see already, it looks completely different. The game looks completely different. So, so much better. Now, the gun is also in a different place and it doesn't block off the screen like it does without these settings. So it looks so much cooler, this game. It almost looks like uh, 2.0. The game without these settings kind of looks like Teletubbies. I'm gonna be honest, dude, but now with these settings, it looks so, so much better. Look at that. I kind of want to play this game way, way more with these settings. I don't know. But yeah, so pretty much I'm going to show you how to do this right now. And let's go see how to do this. All right. So now we're in Steam. Now pretty much you just right click, go to properties, go to local files, press browse local files and you will see this preference dot json something like that so you see this all right you press open you select a program from the list and just basically press notepad right here press ok so now we have these things right here so now we got these commands or whatever they're called and our settings so let's move on to the graphics to give that 2.0 a look to the game, you just have to use uh, Skybox Ambience. Now, at the moment, we, we're not using it, but to use it, just type in TRUE. And that will be pretty much it. Now, field of view. Uh, so let me just whip out my um, settings real quick. So as you can see, these are my real settings right here. So the field of view, uh, when you will be aiming is going to be 60 in original and for mine is going to be 75 so the field of view is a bit higher so that means uh, the sights will be a little bit more far away simple as that now field of view hip this one is for when you don't aim so pretty much the gun goes a little bit further and if the if the number is lower, that means it's gonna go closer to you. Offset horizontal basically means that your gun will go a little bit more to the left or to the right. So pretty much the higher the amount, I think it goes more to the left and the lower the amount, it goes more to the right. So I just got this kind of a number right here because if you make more, it goes really, really uh, far away to the left. Now offset vertical uh, makes the gun go go up or down, but I think I've got it down. So if the uh, if the number is negative, I think the gun will go down. And offset depth, I think the gun will go forward or backward. So if the number is higher, that means it will go further, and if the number is negative, it will go closer to you. So that's pretty much it for the preferences. Then you click save and pretty much just go to the game. So let's go to the game and check out. All right, so now we're in game. So here we go. So let me just show you a couple of things that are pretty much a little bit more cooler because when you whip out a katana, I think you can actually see the end of it. And you couldn't uh, get to the end when you used to have your normal settings. So I think this is way better than it used to be. And I think the baseball bat is the same way. So you can actually see the end of your melee weapon, <laughs> which is amazing. Now, if you go to the um, to the eagle fire, the guns are way more into the middle, and which is great. It is way, way better because it doesn't block off the, the view. Now. I used to use these kind of a settings in CSGO. I used because I kind of like that 
kind of a quake feeling because uh, a lot of quake games used to have the guns in the middle and I really like that and I think this is why I put the guns in the middle and it kind of fits this style of the game for me I don't know and yeah let's just show you this awesome new uh, gun echo from from the latest update look at this gun man. this is such a cool gun and it sounds absolutely insane when you shoot it <laughs> probably they're more the most interesting sounding gun ever so now let's go to the graphics and see what we got so my draw distance is up everything is almost up I don't use clouds because they they lag for me so I don't use them and actually the game looks better without them now terrain backdrop also don't use it unless it, it's necessary but I usually don't need it now terrain transition it's your own thing if you want it you can use it but kind of I kind of like it turned on because it looks better in the in further distances because it kind of looks washed out when you don't use it I don't like it when it's washed out now height fog use it all the way windy foliage and everything everything almost is ultra I don't use lighting quality too high it kind of looks the game I believe ultra and render mode is forward because deferred is kind of weird for me 